This is how I make my face less ugly in just five simple steps that you can apply to anyone in DaVinci Resolve Studio to make them look better. And the last one's probably the most important. If you're new here, I'm Ali. I'm a professional video editor. Will and I own a video production company in Toronto, Canada. We also release weekly YouTube videos all about video editing, videography tips and tricks, and gear reviews. To stay in the loop, subscribe to our channel. And now let's hop into Resolve and I'll show you how easy it is to make someone's face look better. Okay, so we're in the color page and I have this clip of myself that shows my skin's got a bit of an uneven complexion, bags under my eyes, could use a bit more of a pop of color and brightness to just make it look better. My first node has my color grade on it, so let's right click and add node, add serial, go up to effects, library, search face refinement and drag it onto our second node. We want Resolve's AI technology to recognize where our eyes, nose, and other features are so that when we make adjustments to certain areas, they'll be affected properly. To do this, click Analyze. Resolve will take a moment to process your face. Great. And now uncheck Show Overlay so we can see the work that we're doing. I also am just going to click on Nodes so we can see more of the program window and what we're doing. First, we're going to work with Texture. Adjusting texture is super useful for reducing wrinkles. You can also reduce pores, fine lines. Basically, texture gives you the same look that people spend thousands of dollars getting Botox to achieve. So in texture, the amount slider adjusts how intense your skin is smoothed. If we move it all the way below zero, it starts to do the opposite of smoothing. This is what it looks like if you push the amount all the way looking a little too fake there. So we will find a happy medium around 0.591 and scale affects how much of the area of the face is being affected. So you wanna work with both of these sliders until you're happy. If at any point you wanna see what the before and after looks like, you can click on this bypass color grades and fusion effects. Here's the before and after, cool. All right, so already adjusting texture has made a pretty nice enhancement. The next step is eye retouching. First, let's look at sharpening. So of course you always want someone's eyes to be in focus. My eyes look a little soft right now. Let's push sharpening to the extreme. Okay, that's a little too creepy looking for me. Somewhere around 0.559. Looks good. Next, let's increase brightness. So I have a few makeup artist friends who use these special eye drops that make their talent's eyes brighter. Yeah, that's a real thing. And it just makes your eyes more pleasant to look at. This is what brightening pushed all the way looks like. I look like an X-Men character right now, which I'm not, who's that character? Yeah, not the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna keep this subtle. Next, eye light affects the lightness around the eyes. I don't push this too far, so around 0.133 is looking good to me. And now we can adjust eye bag removal. Okay, I'm happy with it around 0.147. The next three steps are actually super fast and simple, so let's go to lip retouching, and I'm just gonna increase the saturation a bit to make my lips look a little pinker under blush retouching. I like to increase my hue a little bit to make my cheeks look a little rosier. And onto our final step. So when you're enhancing someone's face, it's easy to get a bit carried away and push parameters a little too far. The goal with face refinement is to make our subject look good, not fake. So this last important step is to adjust global blend. We can bring this slider down, which will decrease the intensity of the face adjustments that we've made, giving you the option to make your enhancements a little more subtle. Remember, subtle is better. I'm just gonna reduce the global blend to around 0.715. Awesome, and here's the before and after. And there you go. Those are my five simple steps to make someone's face look better in Resolve. If you wanna get your hands on the LUTs that we use in our videos or find out the gear that we recommend and use, check out the description below. For weekly editing tutorials, videography tips and tricks, as well as gear reviews, subscribe to our channel. I hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you in another video.